I do not understand. Corvo's weaponry is of great quality. If Dowd will not use it himself, why don't we simply cast lots for it? What I do not understand is why you are voicing your complaints to me and not to Dowd himself. to the tunnel and is asked not to be disturbed. Is that it? Correct. This prisoner we took, the bodyguard who was with the Empress, seems to trouble him gravely. Yes. I feel that we've reached a turning point tonight. Yes. Good luck on your assignment when you are permitted to leave. Unseen. Stay in shadow and avoid the light. Cross to the other side of the room without attracting notice. He is loyal to doubt, yes. But there is something else. Something. No, I cannot see. Good. I did not see you approach. Now, attempt a transversal. Do not focus on your destination with your eyes. That is folly and will limit the potential of the power. You know the layout of the room. Instead, focus on where you wish to be standing, and it will be so. Excellent. We have no more to teach you for now. Return to your place of rest. Your real work with us begins tomorrow night. vanished from confinement, from the whole area, and the men on duty swear they saw absolutely nothing. It sounds impossible, I know. The Greaves refineries restarted. What do you make of it? 
that he knows your work better than you do. Deal with the sentries as you see fit. As for Corvo, I suspect that in time he will come to me here. He'll have to. So you've lost it all. Ruined at last. Lord Regent. Royal Spy Master. Hiram Burroughs. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you again. Just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. But now there's no need. You've been taken down by the same apparatus that gave you life to begin with. Laws and courtrooms and the mighty swell of public outrage. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress.
basement. <coughs> there's no hospital. I told you that. You think they round people up because there's a cure? They're city guards. <coughs> They're <coughs> supposed to protect people. <coughs> they did. They protect the healthy people from people like us, the sick ones. I'm not uh, that bad. Some people pull through, right? <coughs> Don't they? One in a thousand. Ten thousand, probably. Any chance, I'll take. When, when I get out of there <coughs> and get better, I'm going to do right this time. A fresh start. This time. Uh, <sighs> Goodbye, my boy. Strange. You don't look ill. You're not a victim, not a guard. A spirit from the void, maybe. Another wagon comes every few minutes. How many do you think have died? They say a third of the city. I wouldn't have believed it, but I saw the mound of corpses myself. They dropped us in it. I don't blame them. I know why they do it. But I only wanted to die at home. Some new kind of guard? Like a tall boy? Can't be. Doctor, maybe? Uh, just kidding. Assassin, maybe. Passing through, huh? Hoping to catch a ride on the plague wagon. A few come through here trying. And they fall and break their necks. But that won't stop you. You're almost there. It's pretty easy to get to the rooftops from here. You'll see the way. What do you want from me? To rob me? Looking for a quick roll in the mud? To rescue me? Well, I am not going anywhere. I came here all on my own, and I'm staying right here. Do you think it's better out there? I hate to break it to you, but this is it. This is Dunwall. What you see right here. Flooded district, estate district, anywhere else. It's all gonna be the same soon. Wagon to catch? See the barrier is although I don't see what took so long. It's the live ones crawling up out of the canal. Every ten minutes, I'm gutting another one. How many times have I specified that only cadavers take the long drop? It's why you get a weapon. So what is going on up at the tower? Now they're saying the Lord Regent started the plague himself. I don't understand it either. It looks like a whole other group's in charge. It doesn't change things for us down here. Second item is carriers. Are you seeing plaguers come off the cart looking healthy? A few of them make it back up, and then we've got ten times the mess. Could be. Between killing weepers and finishing the barricade, how should I know? 
Am I supposed to kill everyone I ever see down here? I'm just passing this on from the stilt walkers. Well, pass it to the men on the plague wagons. It's their job to gut these bastards before they throw them down here. We got another whale oil tank on its way. When the lights come on again, to spot any weepers. You think that helps? Now I can stare old ladies in the eye before I cut them down. Why do you think no one lasts on this job? I'm heading back to civilization. Or what's left of it. Keep your head and you'll be on the stilts in no time. I'll do my best. Put in a good word for me, would you? Stand this waiting anymore. The plague wagon's running every couple of minutes now. We just need to get on top of it and ride out of here. Okay, great, smart guy. And what do we do when we hit the wall of light on what short gate? We'll be fried. We can worry about that when we get there. I don't hear you with any better ideas. That's because you've got fat in your ears. Those tall boys are just waiting for a chance to cut loose. We get power to their lights, and they'll go off to hunt plaguers. We can slip right past. Kill what, a dozen people? I didn't get into this to kill people. If only you knew how to tie off a boat. We need to make up our minds. That guy in the mask I saw? He came up from the dry canal. That's whaler territory. They're bad news. Okay, okay. We'd better make sure the coast is clear before we pack up. Don't want to get caught with our pants down. I don't care if I'm wearing pants or not. As long as I get out of here. All these rats crawling all over everything. Get out of here, I'm worried. Listen to that. Magnus is worried. Apart from dying in the muck in the flooded district, what's to worry about? I'm saying even if we get out, we're just bringing it back to our families. 
I don't have a family, and if I did, I wouldn't care. No one's keeping me here. I'll infect the whole city. Just get me out. I heard Blake back in the stairwell talking about a plan. Sounds crazy. All of us here are too weak to do it. If I hear that thing power down, I'm going. Me too. I bet the family man here is right behind me. Three days now. Three days and all I feel is hungry. What does that say to you? I don't know. That we don't have any food? I'm immune. I must be. One in a thousand and it's me. Terrific. I'll turn cartwheels on my way to the mass grave. Don't be bitter. You are not weeping yet. And the tall boys will probably kill me anyway. And maybe I'll dedicate myself to finding a cure. I'll be like Sokolov. Oh, cut the crap, will you? Once you're out, it will be out of sight, out of mind. Go throw yourself off a cliff. To escape you? I just might. I used to work the river. Eels Bend. Flooded district. The Whale's Tooth. I know the land out here, believe it. Only way out is past the Ark Pylon. And your friends? They could really help? They're twice as good as I am. When the Zapper goes down, they'll come for me. They won't rescue us while it's on? They're good, not crazy. When the pylon's off, they'll move and not before. I know you. I heard you've been all over town scaring the piss out of the higher-ups. You got quite a name. Too bad you're stuck down here with the rest of us. Listen, I've got friends coming to break me out of here in a couple of days. But we first need to take that arc pylon down. You'll find it in the courtyard just behind these buildings. You may want to take the stairs up, though. It'll give you a good vantage point. Pull the oil tank out and the pylon powers down. Don't take too long deciding. When they get the floodlights on, the tall boys are coming in to clear this place out. <coughs> you want my advice, head up these stairs. You'll get a bird's eye view of the problem. Might even see a solution. It's just one arc pylon. Should be easy for a man like you. Take down the pylon, or die trying. Between the plague and the tall boys, it'll come to the same thing soon enough. Me and my boys have smuggled more whale oil than you can imagine past here. You help me, and I'll owe you a favor. Trust old Blake on that. There's a man here by the name of Blake. Industrious chap. He's our best bet out of here. You could find him across the back hall. Keep your distance, scum.
I ain't seen nothing braver. And I worked the river for 15 years. Thanks for shutting that thing off. Stay quiet, and I'll get these people moving. You did it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where's everybody going? Just get moving. This is it. We're all going to get killed. Listen up, ladies and gents. Now, like I said before, it may be another day before my old buddies can get here, but they got a boat big enough for the lot of us. So just sit tight. One thing you learn from being a smuggler, half of any job's waiting. Just because we can't see the blood from your eyes doesn't mean you're not sick with the plague. You feeling the chills yet? Feeling the crazy yet? It's a strange tattoo on the back of your hand. With my rescue, the entire city might yet be saved. You are a boon to society, young sir. Never again, I swear. Once I'm free, they'll never do this. That mask must have cost you. Are you of good family? No, you can't be. <coughs> I don't know if I can ever repay you. What would it be like out there to live without fear again? To live like a person? No Egypt, no plague. I can barely even remember what that was like. Don't expect me to celebrate. It still might be a week before Blake's friends get here. We could all be dead by then. You don't look sick. Get out while you can. <laughs> Fine, you helped us. But don't expect a pat on the head. You think I'm some beggar woman? I'm a Brimsley. If I were at home, I'd have you thrown out. When I get out of here, I'll burn this place to the ground. <coughs> you can wait with us. Or fight your way through if that's what you want. From the looks of you, you might just make it. Before they set up the Ark Bylons, I had stashed some elixirs up here. Maybe you've already found them. At any rate, good luck out there. Thank you. I knew we'd make it out of here. I knew it all along. I never knew my brother was a smuggler. I always thought that... that they were awful people. But now... now that's going to save our lives.
Wish I had a last swig of whiskey. You're the masked guy's been taking down all the lords and ladies. No way through this gate unless you got the sewer key. Only one place to get that key, and I wouldn't go there. Not for all the gold in Dunwall Tower. Not again. Maybe you could pull it off, though. Something attacked us in the distillery. It used the rats. I know it sounds crazy. And then it run back under the streets. So we come down here to kill it, Slackjaw leading the way. It went bad. I barely crawled out. Don't know what happened to Slackjaw. He had the sewer key, though. It was a fog. And then rats. Rats everywhere. Slackjaw chased him deeper into the sewers. Like a nightmare. Something came up and started attacking. Slackjaw's still in there. If he can kill it, I don't know. City Watch bastards hiding behind their walls. going to boil off the nasty fat and sinew and carve a pretty song on your bones. Hey! Someone kill this crazy witch! I could make you rich! Quiet now. Granny needs to concentrate. Don't kill me. Granny Rag, stop. Stop what you're doing. can we at least talk about it? My knives got to be nice and sharp to cut into your skeleton, Slackjaw. Nice and sharp. There's my love. Are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? 
Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Not going to help Granny? Well, I'm disappointed. You better leave. You cheating bastard. You're down here too? <laughs> the least you could do is help me out. You swindled me good, mass man. And all along you were the same bastard who killed the Empress. Oh yeah, Corvo. Word is all over the street. Says in one of her books it's the only way to get rid of her forever. I know the cameo don't look like her, but it's supposed to be her when she was young. That's where she gets her powers. Throw it into the furnace, burn the cameo, and you kill her. something funny when we were kids we were all scared of granny rags thought she was a terrible witch then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady we were right the first time now ain't that funny I owe you this won't even the score but it's all I got left luck to you Corvo to such interesting places, Corvo. At the eye of the storm, raging between granny rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other. Crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd, the man who killed the Empress. You had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away? You fascinate me. They left in great haste, scattering like insects. He gave a glory to the nests you made for them. Emily banged her head in the confusion. They dragged her crying into the waiting boat. She called your name.
You are like the river men. They spread their nets wide and pull up all manner of things. The sweet, the deadly, the wise. share this apple tonight. In a week we'll be on Addie's farm in Morley. I know you never liked Morley, but the three of us will be together. That's all that matters. I wouldn't come no closer. I ain't been feeling too well. I've heard that some have survived the blood. Why am I so cold? 